I heard, I forget honestly who it was. I just knew it, it was a she. Yeah. Because Void was popping off. <laughs> yeah, we had him out here for a few of our events too. Yeah. But um, Yoshi Freak. Okay, that's I I've seen Yoshi Freak around, but I didn't see him much in a Smash Four. Really old uh, Game and Watch player, which is cool to see. I really like the change to Game and Watch's animations and uh, hitboxes, especially that forward air. Oh yeah, it's no longer the little pipe; it's an actual bomb drop now. All right. Okay. Well, I have to hop off. I have a match. All right. All right. Good luck in that match. Thank you. Good luck in that pool match. All right. Nice. Yeah, I really like uh, how Rebel's playing right now. Still looks really comfortable moving around with this character. Just Still looks to find like Zero Suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just trying to find the new ways that he can uh, get his, his setups outside of grab. Up oh, all day, baby. That new up air. Functions more like uh, Mega Man's up air with the tornado. Have you seen the glitch with his up air? There's a there's a glitch with So if if you land on a certain frame with up air, it resets the hitbox to zero zero on the stage and just goes towards center stage and just up air. Like the animation. So the hitbox just goes to the center of the stage and just goes up. Oh if you it's not it's I like see. A, it's it's a glitch. That's that's not good. <laughs> I hope it gets <laughs> fixed in the next week's patch, right? Yeah. I mean hopefully they know about it. We'll see. Rivals, Rivals looking strong though. Yeah. Still looking really good with the zero suit. I like that he's uh not throwing out that many like paralyzers and neutral because yeah. of the, the bucket mechanic from Game Watch. Oh Ooh, he almost nope. caught it. That definitely still is a thing. <laughs> it is. Okay, I got the ledge here. You have to try and get the bomb set up, but he's rolling right out of there. But I think he, I can't tell if he missed his, da his uh, standing grab or side B, but definitely had a free opening there for the down smash. Okay, nice. Right was staying under him, getting all the juggles he can get. Looking for that setup with the side B. Definitely like the new side B for zero suit. Uh, I believe if you hold it after it connects, it scoops them in, like above her, so you can get follow ups like that. Oh. Yet to get touched. Okay, trying to set up the juggle here. No, too slow. Rival just so slippery, moving around the stage, sticking in these quick hit boxes. Mm -hmm. So we've learned from like this, at least this week. That oh. nice side B. Nice, nice snipe. That when you're pressured on shield, your best option for the most part is jumping with an aerial. It's like the most, it's like the quickest way in terms of frames. Shield grab has been significantly reduced in yeah. terms of like its efficiency as an option. Yeah. So I think a lot of people can now opt for their second, their second, like they can like land on someone's shield and opt for a jab, where it's like in Smash 4. It wasn't as free to do that because shields are now weaker in this game. So uh, a lot of a lot of players, when they when they take note, should be looking for out of shield options when someone pressures their shield. Uh, preferably maybe up B with zero suit. Yeah, I can agree with that. I believe now since you don't have to like jump cancel moves like up B, they're even better out of shield. Yep, exactly. And it, it helps a lot of people like me who use who don't use tap jump. Oh yeah. So like I can just I love that they added that because that just that helps me a lot. Cause now I don't have to like. I used to claw my fingers. So you I would have avoid um. Oh, we still coming back again. But we got buried. Oh wow. That is clean. That was looking good. Got half charge on that up smash too, just to make sure it connects. It. Great stuff from Rival man. Getting that first game. Still looks really solid with the zero suit. Like again, I, I'm really glad that he's um, sticking with this character because a lot of former Zero Suit players just, um, I don't know, they talk like Carrie just lost a bunch of they the tools. They don't seem optimistic at all. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know, Rival looks pretty good with Zero Suit still. I mean, mainly in uh, Smash 4, he was going majority of Zero Suit outside, like maybe one or two matchups where he might go cheap. Mm -hmm. So, Rival was saying that? I, or in uh, Smash 4, I know Rival only had like a few pocket characters that yeah. he used, but mainly he used Zero Suit. I think he's been pretty confident with Zero Suit lately because I was practicing him uh, with him, I think, release day. And 
he feels and he feels confident because there's still some things that Zero Suit has from Smash 4, like uh, Nair into down B. Oh yeah, that still looks really good. What's up? Oh, oh we got we got some headphone issues. Yeah, but uh, definitely like the new Zero Suit still. Like I still like that you're able, like you said, to get the Nair down B. She can still kill really early yep. with her uh, up arrow B setups too. And wouldn't you think it's better on shield since shields are weaker? Yeah, I would say so. Especially, like, I feel like Nair jab is uh, even better, but you gotta watch how people are starting to parry the Nair too. Yeah, because I think I, re I think I read, it, I saw it today. The, uh, I think it was Izzah's video where it had to do with parrying, and if you parry something, you have a three-frame advantage. Yes. But I think that only applies to attacks that are when they're close quarters. If someone throws a projectile from far away, that does not apply. Yeah. So that's why projectile characters, when it comes to like parrying, is actually a really good plus for them because they yeah. actually do have frame advantage. Exactly. It's gonna be like instead of running up, shielding to deal with projectiles, like power shielding them and getting in, you gotta rely on having really good movement and being able to navigate around them to. Uh, oh, I completely agree. Exactly. Yeah, that's something that's gonna be so relevant, especially with characters like uh, Simon and Richter, who are really popular and really strong Dony characters. Uh, Learning how to use your movement to get in close and uh, definitely utilizing that uh, that combo game too. Yep. Completely and edge guard. But uh, I don't think we're going to see a character switch. Yeah, both these guys pretty much solo mains. I know Yoshi Freak has been using Game Watch pretty like exclusively since like Brawl, I think. So. Yeah, we got Battlefield. Starting out with a Zare and media approach. You know what I like? Is so many people used to roll in Smash 4, and now we just, we've opted to left right movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't see it, like, roll, you don't see rolling from anybody. And I thought that was going to take a while for a lot of people to break up their habit, but it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier. Uh, it's good to see that um, the rolls are weaker as far as, like, cross up options go or just, like, abusing them. But, uh,. The dashing can be predictable if you do it in a certain rhythm every time. Like, I'm going to dash like three times and then run in with a grab or whatever. Yeah. Oh, so that's interesting. So he actually used fair to cancel the, the fair bomb hitbox? Yeah. I, didn't, I haven't seen it before. You can actually beat it out with the hitbox wow. when it's falling down. Interesting. That's some knowledge. So we can see Yoshi Freak is actually opting to recover high almost every time he gets knocked off stage. Yeah, uh, it's not that unsafe with uh, Game & Watch just because you can like fall down with Dare really quick or throw out that new port air bomb too to make his uh, high landing pretty safe. Yeah. Oh, barely living here. Oh, gotta watch out for that new directional air dodge when you're trying to landing uh, to trap people. Pressuring the shield, keeping him in a really rough spot. Now he has him at the ledge. Oh, oh that's it. nice dash attack. Still got that flip kick though. I was gonna say, like, wow. I'm not too confident. Like after seeing her side B range, it's been like significantly nerfed. I don't know how like her max range anymore. Yeah. It used to be so much better. Yeah, it's definitely not good. But you, if you keep that uh, flip kick on deck, at least for like, the first one you use, you can come back pretty far. You do lose it though if you use, if they get hit out of it. It's really? At least what Armin told me, being a zero suit player. Do you lose side B? So yeah, if you, if you get hit out of it when uh, you're covering, like the flip kick, you can lose it. Wow. Oh man, went. Oh, you went right next to him after that up smash? Oh, what just shoots the bomb. That was really cool. And that new bomb for it there. I think you have to have some pretty specific steps for it, yeah, for, you it do. for it to be effective because Rivals hit him out of that move at least two or three times now. That side B is lo kind of looking reminiscent of Brawl in terms, oh. of its, in terms of its knockback. Yeah, definitely. He definitely got the kill with the first stock. Yeah, and you know there's two different ways to do side B, right? There's one of them that can send you in front of them. Yeah, I believe if you hold it when they get hit, yeah. they go in. If you tap it, it's a kill move. If you tap, if you hold it, yeah, I think it's a, a combo extension. Uh, unfortunate. SD there. Yeah, we got the directional air dodge SDs. He will still get them out of their system, but uh, finally gonna get that first stock. Care like Game Watch, you never wanna get too comfortable with the lead. You can do tons of damage, and he always has a threat at nine as well, but. 
Right now, yeah, Rival's looking really solid. Oh, trying to get the fair one into the down B spike. Got the hit to connect, but just didn't get the spike. Another thing people have to learn from New Zero Suit, that fair one is really good. Really? Yeah, really good for combo starting. And I, I think the hitbox change too allows her to chain fairs easier as well. Oh, got the kick out in time. Rival, man. big time plays right here. Now Rival's be really careful in using his neutral B because I think he can just keep bucketing until and get that that stock comeback. Be yeah. very careful. I think Rival realizes this and he's just gonna opt for different moves to close out the game. There's no reason to give him any bucket. Nice. In the air. Yoshi is trying to find a safe place to go, but Gets stays right rival. under him and sharks him with that up smash. Taking that one with the two stock and the two oh. Very good. Good stuff, Rival. Nah, think about it. Rival actually did win a tournament in this game already.